Super Bowl 58 is also making history by going green, and we're not talking about the field. According to the host, Sunday's game at Allegiant Stadium will be the very first Super Bowl powered entirely by renewable energy. Ben Tracy tracked down the source of that energy in a desolate patch of Nevada desert. Yes, we've got 621,000 panels that make up this array. The solar farm outside of Las Vegas may look like a shimmering mirage, but its starting lineup is more powerful than any in the NFL. This solar field right here would be big enough to serve close to 60,000 of our residential customers. Or a couple homes in one big stadium. In one big stadium. <laughs> that stadium is Allegiant Field, home to Super Bowl 58. The Raiders say it's the first NFL stadium powered by 100% renewable energy, thanks to a 25-year agreement to buy power from this new solar installation owned by Envy Energy. Doug Cannon is its CEO. How much energy does it take to power Super Bowl Sunday? Yeah, so it'll be over 10 megawatts. That's about equivalent to 46,000 homes. Sustainability was front of mind as the stadium was being constructed. Raiders President Sandra Douglas Morgan says the stadium roof is made of a sustainable plastic material that allows in about 10% of daylight but blocks all solar heat so it takes less energy to cool the building. The grass field is moved outdoors on a rail system to get natural sunlight rather than using energy intensive growing lights. And everything from grass clippings to food scraps and cigarette butts are composted or converted into other forms of energy. When you come to a game, you may be thinking about just focusing on the game, but when they hear that and know that we're being conscious of our environmental footprint, hopefully that guest will leave and have that same mindset when they go back home. This is our main electrical entry room. The stadium got a pre Super Bowl visit from U.S. Secretary of Energy Jennifer Granholm. The fact that renewable power can power a facility like this should speak volumes about what can happen in other communities. These white boxes at the solar farm house massive batteries that store. Or renewable energy. So when the sun isn't shining, they still have five hours of power. It's one thing to power a Super Bowl, but do you have enough power for Usher? Absolutely, we have enough power for Usher. The short answer would just be yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. While the moves on the stage and field will be memorable, this Super Bowl will also make history for its superpower. I'm Ben Tracy in Las Vegas. Pretty cool. Ben, of yeah, course, a good St. Paul kid who used to work uh, right here. At Great guy.